In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create adjustment layers in Premiere Pro. And adjustment layers are what's gonna help you speed up your editing process, so you don't wanna miss this. Stick around. Tyler here from Video Editing with Tyler White. And if you wanna learn how to edit a video like a pro, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. So before we get started, the first thing that we need to understand is what an adjustment layer is. And an adjustment layer is a layer that is used to apply the same effect to multiple clips across the timeline. For example, my cinematic black bars and my color grade that is on my adjustment layers now goes completely across all the clips inside of my timeline. And I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So the first thing we'll do is we'll get rid of the adjustment layers. And then what we're gonna do is go down here to new item, and then we're gonna select adjustment layer. We wanna first make sure that this matches our sequence settings, and then we're gonna just press okay. Then we'll drag the adjustment layer over top and for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to do it with two adjustment layers. Uh, you can add as many adjustment layers as you want, or you can do it all in one adjustment layer. It really doesn't matter. But for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you what I best recommend. So this bottom adjustment layer will be for my color grade, and this top one will be for my cinematic black bars. And let's say I don't wanna use my adjustment layer, and I'll show you the way that this would take, how long this would actually take. So if I go down to the crop tool and drop that onto my clip, I will go down here and I will change this to 12 and I'll change the bottom one to 12. And I will do that for every single clip inside of the timeline. I'm gonna show you how to do it so much faster just using your adjustment layer. So I'll go ahead and undo all this. And then we'll drag the crop tool onto our top adjustment layer because we want it to go across all clips. All we're gonna do is scroll down here Go to the top, press 12, and go to the bottom and press 12. And that goes across every clip inside of the timeline. And keep in mind, I made a more in-depth tutorial on how to create those cinematic bike bars in Premiere Pro. So I'll link that up in the YouTube cards now. You can check out that tutorial if you want to, and then hop back over here to this one. But the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here, and then we're going to click on our adjustment layer, click on color, and we can adjust the grade of our footage here across all clips so let's say I want to make this really really warm looking it's gonna make that clip look warm same with this one and the same with this one it applies all the effects that I add to that adjustment layer across all the clips that the adjustment layer is covering so if I don't want the warmth to be in that specific clip I can just drag that back and now it goes from that warm tone to the normal look. I can also do it by dragging this clip up to the top and doing it that way as well if I don't want to interrupt that footage. Let's say I add another clip over here. I could, all I have to do is just drag it over top and there's my color grade and my cinematic black bars. And as you can see it goes to normal and it goes right back to those warm tones. Whatever is under the adjustment layers is going to have the effect applied to it. Another quick tip is by using adjustment layers to color grade my footage, it keeps me from having to go in and let's say I have a very, very large project with like over 50 clips. I don't have to go in there and specifically color grade each clip every single time. I can do one mass color grade for the entire project using that adjustment layer. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.